I had to choose whether to work on my next video or vent about a recent idiotic situation. Fan reaction was that bad. That fucking bad. That fucking horrible. <clears throat> Recently, during the Nintendo Direct at E3, they ended up announcing a game that looks like it could be a good spin-off. A pretty good spin-off that won't directly star the main protagonist, but could still play a part in the timeline and end up being good. This game was is being developed by the same people that brought you Punch Out for the Wii and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. So it's gotta be good, right? Apparently, unless it's a fucking Metroid game. Because apparently, as big as the internet ended up losing its shit over Final Fantasy VII being remade, they absolutely are disgusted with Nintendo for whatever reason for making Metroid Prime Federation Force. A game that actually looked pretty good in the trailer and in all honesty seems like it could be a fun addition. However, but hurt Metroid fans waiting for the next big Metroid game, meanwhile I'm waiting for Metroid Dread, apparently did not see it that way, and would rather have no Metroid game than an actual Metroid game. I am not kidding with this shit. They started a peti a fucking petition. A fucking petition to have the game canceled. And last I checked, it's already got over 10,000 signatures. What the fuck is wrong with people? Okay. It is this reaction, and as well as the fan reaction of the overreaction towards Final Fantasy VII being remade, but mostly this reaction towards Federation Force, that makes me believe that this year's E3 was probably not the best, at least not in terms of fan reaction. And it brought out the worst in gamers. I mean, starting a petition to cancel a game? Who does that? Who signs that? Apparently, 10,000 different people. But... Oh! You... I hurt my neck being angry at you people. And ever since then, Facebook page Zelda Informer has actually been reporting multiple times on the game, giving more info so that people don't end up hating it at face value and could actually give it a fucking chance. Because yeah, that's all it fucking is. They're hating it at face value. They took one look, saw that it wasn't a big Metroid game that they wanted, and ended up being like, butt her babies, bitch and bone, and spam that dislike button. Seriously, it's like 90% on that thing, on that video on Nintendo. That shouldn't happen! Neither should a fucking petition to cancel a game that other people might want. Oh, now I'm hurting my jaw a little. This is by far the biggest load of ass I've ever seen. I mean, imagine if Sony wanted to be supportive of Nintendo making the game, and instead of, you know, just trying to get rid of that petition to cancel the game, they just outright canceled the Final Fantasy VII Remake. It could happen. I mean, they've been supportive in the past, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft have met together to talk about, I think it was piracy or something? I actually don't know the full story of that, but they did want to work together about something. I think it was hacking, I believe. You know, hacking and bringing down networks. You know, like they did with, uh, like the hackers did with uh, uh, Xbox Live and Sony Entertainment. Or, you know, PSN, I should say. So, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, actually, maybe I would be, but not that much. If Sony decided to show support for Nintendo by announcing that they would cancel Final Fantasy VII, the remake, if, you know, this shit continued. Hell, I would fucking love to see that. See the reactions from the people, and then just laugh in their faces. Hell, I'd actually take a cab, a plane, whatever it would be, to actually 
go to each and every one of these people's houses, see the look on their face, and laugh in their fucking face! The fan reaction towards Federation Force makes me embarrassed to be a video gamer! Embarrassed! I felt physically sick from the reaction last night. I ended up actually going as far as to throw around saying that I would kill people that were hating on this game. They made me that angry. Of course I wouldn't follow through with it, but how would I supposed to know? I was pissed! And still fucking am! So why am I not working on my video today? Because now I feel like I'm throwing my voice out. I'm, I'm a, I feel like I'm throwing my voice out at this rate. <clears throat> Uh, and uh, and the fan reaction towards this is just the worst, the absolute worst. Little thing, I actually debated which to rant about. Rachel Dulles or whatever, identifying as a race that she is not, probably, you know, because if Caitlyn Jenner can be a woman, then she can be black, which doesn't make sense at all because it's race, not gender. Or... Rant about this. The petition made it win by a fucking landslide. We are in an age where people will bitch when they get what they want. And will bitch even more when it's not something that they personally want, but maybe someone else would want. I mean, granted, I don't want another Call of Duty game I don't fucking actually start a petition to cancel Call of Duty as a whole. Hell, I'm actually hopeful for Sonic Boom, Fire, and Ice, even. Because that actually looks like it could actually be better than Shattered Crystal, if not, you know, slightly above better. <laughs> but, you know, I'm actually thinking of doing a top 10 games I'm excited for list. You know, after E3. And you know, just to spite people, I am thinking of putting Federation Force all the way to the top. Because it needs that fucking support now! It needs that fucking support! And I may have angered my neighbors because of you fucks. Because of the people that end up going ape shit towards Federation Force, hating it at face value. Here, hey. Here's, an, uh, here's, a, here's a thought. Remember Metroid Prime Pinball? A spin-off game in the Metroid series that was also taken at face value, hated, but then turned out to be good? This could be Federation Force. I mean, granted, people are saying, oh, but it took place between Metroid Prime 2 and 3, so there's a big difference. No, there is no big difference. It was a new spin-off Metroid game, and it fuck you. That, that's how it went. It was a new spin-off Metroid game, and drought or no drought, that is no fucking excuse to hate a game at face value. I mean, hell, Zelda Triforce Heroes, is that what it's called? Yes, Triforce Heroes. Could be considered a spin-off, but part of the main timeline as well. You know, probably like Federation Force is for Metroid. But people are, are actually re well receiving of it. What the fuck makes Federation Force different? I mean, if you're going to use the excuse about a drought of Metroid games, there was technically a drought for Zelda U. Still nothing on Zelda U. It's not released yet. <clears throat> these people who started and signed a petition I personally want to just hurt that is how bad this reaction is I physically want to hurt them and I don't like that feeling I'm at a loss. I mean, we've come far with technology. Microsoft's virtual reality Minecraft bit was a big leap in all of us as people and with technology as a whole. But as people, I believe we took like 30 steps back with how irate 
they have been towards Federation Force. The game doesn't even have enough info out, just like Triforce Heroes doesn't, actually. And yet people are hating it, unlike Triforce Heroes. Give the game a fucking chance. Wait until release date and give it a fucking chance. And you will be surprised when critics end up saying that it's actually a fun little Metroid title for all to enjoy. I know, this game is probably going to get at least a... I'm sure that this game is probably going to get at least an 8. That's my prediction. You know why? Because I actually took a look at the gameplay style. I took a look at how it would work. I took a look at the whole Blast Ball thing. I took a look at the intel about the game. About why there wasn't a Wii U thing. Why they put it for the new 3DS because of the CPA, CPA, excuse me, CPAD, the little C-stick thingy. I think it's called a C-stick. A little thumb pad thing, you know, a little circle one. You know the one I'm talking about. And I deduce that it could very well be good. I looked into it and learned more about it. That's how I know my opinion could work, or will even work. Everyone else just took it at face value and said it sucked. I mean, what game can you think of? where someone took it at face value and automatically had an opinion of it. Absolutely none. Hell, I even played Call of Duty myself to get a feel of it to see if it was really as bad as people were saying. It is. But this is probably the only time ever that I had noticed where they took a game at face value and ended up absolutely despising it. I mean, I mentioned Metro Prime Pinball before, but I don't even know if it was true that they took that they took it at face value and hated it, because of course it ended up being. Fun. But basically, I guess aside from that, there hasn't been a single video game in existence where people took it at face value and absolutely despised the fuck out of it. They got a feel of it first to see if it was really as bad as it may have looked. Nine times out of ten, maybe seven, I don't know. It ended up being good. Or maybe nine times out of ten, maybe seven, I don't know. It ended up being bad. But the thing is, give the game a fucking chance. I had to do stress exercises and anger management techniques to wait until I could do this today because when I was reading it all last night, I felt like exploding. <laughs> I mean, how would you like it if just we had another video game crash and you had nothing? Huh? How would you like that if you had a video game crash all of a sudden, right now, and you had nothing that you could play? If you really think that no game is better than one game, then get the fuck out of my life. Or better yet, just get the fuck out in general. You are not welcome in the gaming community if you think no game is better than a game. So, I mean, <clears throat> if you end up saying that if there was no game in the world and the only one was Metroid Prime Federation Force and you wouldn't play that, maybe in another life or whatever, you'd be fucking shunned. At least by me. Keep in mind, we've still come far as games. Back in the day, the only game we had was Pong. Pong, sorry, I, I think I said that wrong. Pong. Which, if I'm not mistaken, was technically like the only game one would really play, like in the 70s. Come to think of it, I think I look like a guy who didn't know. But, just give the game a fucking chance, you ungrateful little shits. Hell, Nintendo could spite you all by just canceling all Metroid games and just releasing Federation Force and only Federation Force and then just saying fuck you for the rest of the day, year, millennia. Would you like that? No, no you wouldn't. Trust me, it looks like it's gonna be good. And if you really can't handle that and have to start a petition, 
then you don't deserve anything. You don't deserve to own a Wii U and play the games on it. You don't deserve a new 3DS XL. You don't deserve an original 3DS. You don't deserve a 2DS. You don't deserve a PS4, an Xbox, a 360, a PS3, a Wii, a computer. You don't deserve anything because you were a disrespectful and ungrateful little shit. So yeah, now I gotta rest my voice and I'll just work on my video tomorrow. Why work on the video tomorrow when I could just calm down and work on it later? I don't know. I'll just use his excuse. Blame the Haters Federation Force. Just blame them. Who needs a reasonable reason than to than just blame them? <laughs> So yeah, you gotta wait a little longer for my video. Not that it'll make much of a difference since I only have 180 so subscribers, but blame the Federation for stickhead haters for now. Oh, don't worry. I did say we'll work on it tomorrow. I don't have any plans for tomorrow, really. Unless I end up getting a deposit in and probably purchase Animal Crossing New Leaf. I've been thinking about that for a while. But don't worry. I'm sure tomorrow. Tomorrow, I swear. Ugh. Those haters. This is Greatest Army X, and we need to rethink our, you know, tendencies to hate things at face value. I mean, think about it. You know, why is it that every time I get really stressed out, I drink soda? Hmm. I'll see you guys soon either way.